What's going on, everybody? It's Jeff here. Welcome back to the channel. I've had a lot of people reach out to me asking me the same question that is being presented as the next catalyst needed in order to trigger the squeeze. So I want to make a video about the entire topic and give you a really good understanding of exactly what is happening behind this. So let's get right into it. First off, this is what we are talking about becoming a registered shareholder via computer share. It's been portrayed all over the internet that in order, if you register your shares, it's going to trigger the squeeze. So let me give you a breakdown of exactly what this even means. First of all, by registering your shares to a company like computer share, they are taking the shares out of the DTC's hands. Cause even though you might own them through your broker, it's still held on the DTC. And therefore they're able to lend out these shares and these shares become in just insane circulation, which has almost kind of led to an infinite supply of shares. Okay, so when you register through computer share, they're pulled from the DTC and they're held basically proprietary to you. A couple benefits of this is that it's going to be less shares that are actually going to be able to be circulated and therefore it's going to give a less opportunity for hedge funds to continue to short this stock as well as reset the ftds and abuse the options chain so you do have some benefits on that side of it however there's a lot of pushback on why you know people are saying well why should i do this i don't want to do this and i'm going to give you my take of exactly why because it has nothing to do with the topic or the content it's all about the approach and what i mean by that is throughout the last you know nine or ten months and it's unfortunate but all over the internet people have said this is the one thing that is needed in order to trigger okay and this has happened probably 20 times and what you've done is you've built up a sense of or a sense of false expectations and the fact that it just led to failure because it hasn't happened yet. So people then begin to be skeptical about, well, you're, you're saying this again and, and it's again and it's that one next thing and the one next thing. And that's why there's pushback behind this. I don't think it's anything related to an actual content type. And if you look at some of you know, you look at AMC's volume, the volume was under 30 million. You look at GameStop was even under a million. It is very far under the average amount of shares that is being traded. And the fact that by registering your shares through computer share, it helps, you know, helps stunt that that lending. And, and like I said, that infinite, you know, number of shares being overturned. Um, but the other thing I want to point out to you is one, do you remember the shareholder meeting, which I just Googled AMC shareholder meeting, and I, I find it ironic that computer share is actually running ads um, on these key keywords right now. AMC is probably the, the, the trigger on that. But do you remember that just a couple months ago that, you know, AMC had, you know, come up with the AMC, you know, Investor Connect, and therefore you can, you know, connect your broker to, the, to this, okay, and you were able, and it was able to count the shares for you. And I think we had something of like 1% of, investors out of the 4.1 million actually did this and they own 10 percent of the float and that because of that variance that one to ten percent you know and adam aaron had stated that i think it was like an average of like 120 shares and like by all these calculations it would have kind of you know proved that there was a higher number of shares being circulated than the actual float and and for many it was like okay well this is going to trigger and this is going to trigger and, and inevitably that that didn't happen so it, it seems like we're, we're kind of going through this again and you might be thinking to yourself, oh, well, you know, this is a different thing and, you know, this is deeper and it pulls it out of the DTC so they, they can't do this and so forth. But the only thing that is going to inevitably, you know, trigger this short squeeze is the fact that these hedge funds have too much risk on their hands and that they're going to be able to need to close these positions and you might be thinking to yourself of like okay is that ever going to happen or when that when is that going to happen and the the fact of the matter that because the term and the action short squeeze actually exists means that that time does happen if you look at melvin capital back with gamestop they, they were a little guy okay they were a little guy and they were forced to close their position because of the insane amount of exposure that they had and that was all, you know, natural over over time. It was nothing that this one catalyst that had led to in order to force this action to be had. So that's what's going to cause AMC to squeeze when the fact that their exposure and their risk is gotten to a point to where it cannot be maintained when, you know, their clients, you know, the, the you know, hedge funds don't just, you know, they, they control other people's money. 
when their clients eventually get to see you know their books and get to see these numbers that don't come out every single day whether it's quarterly or annually when these numbers can begin to come out and it gets to a point of like listen we don't want to invest in this we don't want this position we don't want to take on this risk that's what's going to cause it to happen i don't believe that it's going to be that that one single catalyst you know if this then that and what what has happened what's being passed around is it just becomes like i said a sense of false expectations and you know it's getting a lot of people upset so whether this is a good thing or you know or a bad thing of it has nothing to do with it you know i i can definitely see the viability and why you would want to, want to register your shares and also for the fact of keeping it proprietary to yourself but i can also understand why people are skeptical and like I said, it all has to do with the approach it's being presented as it's being forced upon, I feel like people see, and it's being presented as the next thing. And we've heard that one too many times, and especially all over the internet. And like I said, I've always tried to, you know, never, you know, build those false expectations, but I'll never forget when, you know, I'm reading a, 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 a thumbnail, you know, a, a title that was like $100,000, you know, AMC stock price next week confirmed. And it's just like, all right, let's get to a hundred dollars first and then a thousand and, and and then you know then then we talk about that but not let's not build this this false sense of especially for anybody that's new to getting into this stock you know i've got tons of video that goes all over of why we're in this play and why we continue to hold this so if you're new then please go back and search some of those videos because you're going to understand you know all of the work and the research that is done behind this but like i said when it comes to that next catalyst just keep that in the back of your mind of you know what's the what's the presentation of this why are people pushing this why is computer share you know now tweeting all about it why are they running ads obviously they make money off of holding your shares okay and any type of transaction you have there is a fee behind it so that's for that's why they want you in order to be able to you know build their client base because they have a business to run so just keep that in mind always look a little bit deeper last thing i'm going to point out to you and i want to touch base on this as well is the fact of the low volume and I don't see the shorts continuing to add on to their positions because one, it, we're still in that crazy demand zone where there is buying power to happen. I made a video a little while ago talking about the, the shorts cannot really bring the price down and it might go down a few dollars, but I'm talking about really bring it down, okay, to that 20 and $10, even $5 level. They've been unsuccessful so far. And naturally, it's also funny too, you got another article that says people should avoid shorting AMC. It just came out on Friday, good old Jim Cramer. And he comes into here and he says this, he says 80% of AMC, AMC's stock ownership comes from investors, not institution. And the current valuation makes sense. So that mind, that shift is already trended. And like I said, if they're saying that the current valuation makes sense and in institutions that have massive exposure that are really short on this, they're going to need to get that off of their books. It might not be you know tomorrow it might not be next week next month but they're going to need to get that off that books because like i said their exposure is going to become too great and as vol as volatility continues to increase in the market as we have seen some crazy volatility recently it just means that that the risk tolerance needs to come down so guys that's it for this video i hope it got to give you a, a bird's eye view and a, and a basic understanding of one why people are talking about invest or, or direct registering their shares through computer share and if you're seeing any pushback, where the pushback is exactly coming from. So that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.